Cristiano Ronaldo gave the ball a kiss and placed it on the penalty spot. How many times must he have been through this routine over the course of the previous 20 years? Beating the goalkeeper from 12 yards has been integral to his brilliance, integral to his claim to be the greatest of all. If he could do it again, beat Jan Oblak and finally break the Slovenian resistance in the first half of extra time then surely Portugal would be into a quarter-final against France in Hamburg on Friday. Ronaldo struck it cleanly and firmly towards the corner, but Oblak went the right way, stretched and found the ball with a hand, pushed it against a post and wide. It was an exceptional save, more of a save than a miss, and indicative of Slovenia's refusal to yield to the expectation. Perhaps they will say there was justice at play, too, because they did not think it was a foul on Diogo Jota as he jinked into the box. Ronaldo was left distraught by the miss, sobbing as the teams huddled for the interval in extra time, his teammates offering support and fans singing his name. It was one of those nights when the ball did not want to go in, mostly because Slovenia defended heroically, but Benjamin Sesko also missed a glorious chance to clinch a place for Slovenia in the last eight, after Ronaldo's penalty miss and before the shootout. Sesko pounced on a rare mistake by Pepe and sped clear with only goalkeeper Diogo Costa to beat. Costa spread his frame and made the block. It was Portugal's goalkeeper who would rise up and be the hero of the night, saving three penalties in the shootout. The game of my life, said the Porto keeper. His first save in the shootout foiled Josip Ilicic and brought Ronaldo back to the same end of the stadium, facing Oblak again. This time he made no mistake and Costa went on to make two more outstanding saves from Juri Blakovec and Benjamin Verbeek. Bruno Ferdinand found the net and Bernardo Silva won it and finally, Slovenia were broken. Portugal will meet France on Friday in Hamburg and Ronaldo, the only man to play in six Euros will once again try to become the first to score in six. Ronaldo is still writing the scripts even when things seem to conspire against him as they did for so long here. Slovenia are compact, well-organized and tenacious. They are physical, they leave a little contact on players. They disrupt rhythms, they frustrate opponents as England know from their encounter at the group stage. Here, they frustrated Ronaldo from the early moments when he headed one into the gloves of Oblak and was furious with himself when he mistimed another. He fist one free kick narrowly over from a good position just outside the box and was miles away with an absurd, overambitious attempt to swerve one towards goal from way out on Portugal's left wing. He was seldom far from center stage although Slovenia's greatest problems in the first half came when Rafael Leao got on the ball with space to dribble at right back Zan Karniknik. Joao Palhina clipped the outside of a post with a low drive after one such run by Leao but, for all their dominance, Portugal did not find the breakthrough and become increasingly aggravated by some of the physical attention. Ronaldo threw his arms up and down in exasperation. Slovenian glimmers were rare. 
Sesco caught one sweep from distance late in the first half, straight at Costa, then broke clear of Pepe in the second half of normal time, only to make a mess of his finish. Then came his chance in extra time. That was the chance for Slovenia and unlike Portugal they would live to regret failing to seize it as Costa performed his heroics.